When I created the Move for Muse website, I learned something pretty disappointing, and that's that YouTube videos load really slowly. And if you have YouTube videos on your page that are loading really slowly, even if they're not playing, it's just loading the embed code, it slows down everything that's loading, and it's gonna slow down especially animations that occur on load. So you may notice, you may have noticed, that on moveformuse.com, the video is not a YouTube player until you click to play the video, and then all of a sudden, the YouTube player shows up. Let me pause that. So the idea is, if people aren't watching your YouTube video, why are we loading this heavy, slow code? Let's load that code when someone decides that they want to watch that video. So I've created a widget that does just that. And if I head back to Muse, it's called the Lightning YouTube Embedder. And you can go grab this from museresources.com. It's just a free download you can grab. It's on the uh, library widgets page. So with the Lightning YouTube Embedder, you can click and drag onto the page and it creates this video frame, which you can make any size you want. I mean, you can make it any old size. I made the default size about the size of this particular impl implementation, but it, you can size and scale it however you want. It'll automatically make the player the correct proportion. So you don't have to worry about distorting the player or making it not fit properly. It's gonna do that for you automatically. So once you've got this placed here, you can click on the little flyout handle here and you choose your YouTube video ID. Uh, that YouTube video ID is at the end of the YouTube link. So if you're on YouTube looking at a YouTube video, uh, which we can do, let me go to YouTube real quick. And when you're on YouTube and you pull up a video, uh, let's pull up this uh, McLaren F1 in the rain video. I'm gonna pause it and uh, at the end of the video you can see there's an equal sign and then there's the uh, little code here. Uh, this code is what you wanna grab to copy and paste into the video because the rest of the properties, the rest of the embed properties are gonna be handled automatically. So just go ahead and slap that in there. And then for your thumbnail image, you can click to add a file. So there are two big benefits here. It's gonna load super fast and you're not gonna have a nasty, ugly YouTube thumbnail image because the YouTube thumbnail images are very low quality. They're meant to, ironically, load fast, which they don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my move thumbnail here and it's gonna automatically scale to fill this entire box. And no matter what size the box is, the image is going to scale to fill it, uh, or it's actually going to scale to fill the video frame size on the inside. So you don't have to worry about things getting weird with that image. The player and the image size are going to complement one another at the same size, the appropriate size, which is the video size. So when I preview this in the browser, it's gonna load very quickly because it doesn't have to wait for uh, YouTube in this case. When the page loads, it just loads that image, which is practically instantaneous and then when you click to play it it's going to swap it out for the YouTube embed code which at that point is also pretty quick because it's not competing with everything else that's loading everything else is already done loading by the time you go to click and play the video so it gets the dedicated bandwidth of your internet connection and the browser is not overwhelmed with loading various uh, JavaScript files so it's just gonna poof show up real quick and if you have a bunch of videos on your page this is going to save a ton of load time this is just one video if you have a bunch of them, it compounds and it becomes lightning fast by comparison. And uh, I think it's going to save you guys a lot of load time. And it's going to give you the quality that you need from your thumbnail images. And you don't have to worry about what the thumbnail image looks like on YouTube, which usually isn't very good. So again, just head over to museresources.com. It's a free download. It's really one of the coolest widgets that I've made lately. Uh, just because I think it's a must and you'll find it on here. I actually, as I'm recording this video, I haven't published it yet, but it's going to be in this top right corner here. It's going to have a red thumbnail and it's going to be the lightning YouTube and better. So go and grab that. It's free and uh, enjoy. And if you want more cool widgets and uh, more tutorials like this, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll have more of it coming soon.